So the concept of doing well at South by Southwest without having to hire or work with or fly me or buy me a suite goes like this. There's a bunch of little, little things that you can completely self-serve and do on your own. You don't need me to handhold and walk you through. So I'm going to bullet point uh, over a dozen things to do that are, encapsulate the topic of uh, how to do what Larry Chang does at South by Southwest without having to fly out or buy Larry Chang anything. First thing you want to do is you want to get yourself on a wait list for the Four Seasons room. I don't make any money selling Four Seasons rooms. This is why. It's massively beneficial because people will cancel last minute. The Four Seasons in Austin is steps away. It's literally right there from the convention center. And getting a, a room as your headquarters, as your pop-up headquarters, as your frontline uh, offense to try to get you more distribution, because that's what you're coming to South by Southwest for. And you're trying to get distribution. You're trying to get people to download, try, use your widget, your product, your app, uh, your web app, your website, uh, your minimum viable product, whatever it is, that's a form of distribution, the hotel room in and of itself. So that's number one, is get on the wait list. And the conference itself starts on March 10th. Get on the wait list immediately. So two, what do you do once you get a room? You want to turn one of the walls, okay, into... Uh, a chart for leads. Let me repeat that. You want to turn one of the walls, okay, of your room into a, uh, a scoreboard. It's really a treasure map. These are all synonymous. They all convey the same thing, which is you as the team of startup people, uh, two to five CS majors that code, a hacker and a hustler, whatever you're calling yourselves. You want to have a wall where you're collecting VIP names, goals of people that you want to try to meet. And this war room, okay, which is essentially what the room will turn into, uh, is a room that collects leads. And I call it hashtag war room nine. War like battle, room like a meeting room, nine the number nine. War room nine hashtag. And you want to convey and uh, document and uh, summarize a bunch of people that are going to help your startup get to the next level. And you do it by generating leads for, and you're building a, a, a sales pyramid. Or if sales is too intimidating of a word, uh, use the word lead funnel. Or if you're trying to meet investors, which you, well, you're welcome to do that because there's going to be a ton milling about. Uh, building a, a list of these people with post notes on walls. That's War Room 9. You should be able to get all of your return on investment back, your ROI back, by doing War Room 9. And it really helps to have it in the Four Seasons or whatever hotel that you end up getting an Airbnb at or nearby. The next thing you want to do is you want to EUTWM PPM. I know that's a mouthful and I know you might think it's a jargon or a hashtag. Let me repeat that because it's critically important if you're looking to try to get an ROI, return on investment. EUTWM PPM. If you're not taking notes by now, maybe the $15,000 that you've invested to go to South by uh, isn't that important to you. Or it's just investor money, you don't care. EUTWM PPM. It stands for Engineer Up a Tidal Wave of Momentum Perpetual Promotion Machine. Let me repeat that. E-U-T-W-M PPM. I'm not reading off of this. This is just off the cuff. Uh, I have cuffs. E-U-T-W-M PPM. Engineer Up a Tidal Wave of Momentum Perpetual Promotion Machine. Engineer Up a Tidal Wave of Momentum Perpetual Promotion Machine. What you want to do is you want to have your your uh, your Eventbrite tie into your PlanCast, tie into your YouTube, builds right into your Eventbrite. So all these things are meant to conjure up momentum. I've got Fluffy, my puppy here. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with him, 
But what you're trying to do is you're trying to engineer up a tidal wave of momentum and perpetual promotion machine. Initially it started off as almost a criticism of, oh, all you do is promote. But I heard the criticism and I thought that's actually what you want to do is you actually want to perpetually promote your startup, especially when you're up and going, especially when you're just trying to start. And so a minimum viable, a less than minimum viable uh, blog post, which is LTMVBP, I know there's a lot of hashtags and I know there's a lot of uh, acronyms, but these are all not really just acronyms, I mean they're acronyms, but they're actually business subroutines, signature business subroutines where you, the set of founders, can, can engineer a tidal wave of momentum. And a less than minimum viable blog post is this, 12 sentences, two pictures, one focus. Of all the people that come to South By, and I know I'm talking a bunch, but this is a one-way conversation. Hopefully, you'll be able to interact and send me video back, send me tweets back, which is just hashtag Larry Chang. There's an I before the A. Of the people that come to South By, or puppies, guess how many of them actually WordPress blog post? Guess. What? 100,000 people, what, last count, 150,000 people come. Guess how many people write a WordPress blog post? Guess. I'm guessing less than 15, definitely less than 50. If you write a WordPress blog post, that's a methodology to set your intention for South By. And it gets the attention of VIPs who uh, Gmail alert when their name gets, gets mentioned. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to you're trying to build momentum on a, a WordPress blog post with an Eventbrite, and I'm going to expand on that. In a, I'm going to expand on that right now. With Eventbrite, everyone else thinks that a party at South by, and this is something you can do completely independent of me. You don't need me to come to your party. Everyone thinks it's a two-hour open bar party, and that's a party, and that costs fifty grand or paying your money to South By for the right to call it an, a South By event, where then you've got to do two hours of open bar. You don't have to do those things. You can just do, if you're scrappy and young and startup-y, you can do an 11 minute party. Let me repeat that. You can do a party that lasts one minute longer than 10 minutes and one minute less than 12 minutes. An 11 minute party. I know when to show up for an 11 minute party that starts at 8.11 and ends at 8.22. I don't know when to show up for a party that goes from 7 to 10 because a ton of parties are from 7 to 9, 7 to 10, 9 to 11 and so then in the back of my mind I'm thinking oh I'm gonna party hop and then the 7 to 10 party sometimes gets skipped over. When you're young and you're scrappy and you do an 11 minute party that attaches to somebody else's anchor party, and I'll expand on that in a moment, but doing an 11 minute party has all of the, nearly all, mm, 90 plus percent of the return on investment as a two hour open bar party, if not more. This is why, when you do an 11 minute party, social media and momentum make zero distinction between an 11 minute party, social media reported, executed well. It makes no difference between an 11 minute party executed well and a two hour party executed well. Because a lot of times that two hour party doesn't do all the checklist things of when you searched hashtag EUTWM PPM. Engineer up a tidal wave of momentum perpetual promotion machine. These things aren't new. These things are things that my mentor, Mark McCormick, taught me via a book written in 1983. And he could have called them signature business recipes from 1983. But it's, I mean, it's got four stars now on Amazon. But up until recently, it only had three and a half stars, what they don't teach you at Harvard Business School. So the, all these signature recipes, I updated ever so slightly into hashtagging, and I took the time to curate these business subroutines. Hashtag UTWM PPM. What you're doing with an 11 minute party 
is you're doing a, a event that gets recorded and builds a lot of momentum and magical things happen when you do things that don't scale, parentheses, quoting Paul Graham, do things that don't scale, parentheses, but have momentum. That hashtag is DTTDS, do things that don't scale, BHM. If you want to go back, rewind it, I'm not going to repeat it. Well, I'll repeat it real quick. Do things that don't scale, but have momentum. 11 minute party. Now, I was teasing you uh, with the, the nugget of this. Anchor plus satellite. Anchor plus satellite. When there's an anchor event that exists already, and that's fine that something exists already, you want to do a satellite event to that. That's a formulaic model that my mentor specifically taught me, Mark McCormick, with anchor plus satellite. His anchor was the regular golf tour. <laughs> if you're falling asleep during this, don't feel bad because Brady, he's fully asleep listening to me talk about this. This regular golf tour and then his satellite event was the senior golf tour. So the senior golf tour was same golfers, same courses, same sponsors, it's kind of breezy in here with just a robe. <laughs> same course, same sponsors, same golfers, just slightly older. Called it the Senior Golf Tour. The thing made more than $350 million first year. That's by definition an after party. Now most people think an after party is uh, something lewd or crude or with alcohol. You can host an 11 minute party with tap water and pizza. And you don't even have to give out free pizza. You can actually charge $5 for slices of pizza. Make money while you're making money. That's another Mark McCormick recipe. How to make money when you're making money. It's, if you Google the phrase, how to make money while you make money and the initials for it, it's actually pretty funny because that's what Mark McCormick thought you should do. He didn't think that you should go into debt to try to make money. He thinks that while you're promoting something, you should be getting paid while you're promoting. So you can give the tap water away for free and then sell $5 slices of pizza. In fact, if you look up South by Southwest, Legends and Lore, uh, there's a documented case where a bunch of MIT kids sold $5 slices of pizza. It's so counterintuitive, right? They sold $5 slices of pizza at the Hilton. Hilton's the, uh, the also ran hotel that's like, second fiddle to the four seasons. Now, the Hilton's nice. Um, it's nice. It's not It's not the four seasons. Anchor plus satellite. Switching gears a little bit, you want to try to attract VIPs. And something that nobody does is you realize that South By is March 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 until Tuesday. A lot of people skip out by Monday. You can book spa appointments here at the Four Seasons and then hand them out as comps to say, hey, Mr. VIP, would you like to come to my 11 minute party? By the way, I can throw you a one hour spa comp. And what you're, nobody plans ahead for this thing. That's this whole UTWM PPM theory, okay? It's not a theory, it's a theorem. And the theorem goes like this. There's a summation of things, the theorem of some things that most people don't plan ahead. So if you squat a bunch of appointments, one day out, it's gonna be sold out. One week out, it's gonna be sold out. This property's sold out right now for South By. Put yourself on the wait list, book spa appointments now, so you're squatting knowing that it's going to be popular later. That's all I do is squat and prep and prepare and EUTWM PPM. So you don't need to offer to fly me out. I'm already going to be out. And you don't have to put me up in the room. I'm going to be in a room. So, so you can do a lot of these things on your own and off by yourself. I wish you a ton of luck. And I'm going to list off a couple extra things since uh, you've been patient enough to watch until the very end. So I'm going to give you a bunch of nuggets. Before you even come to Austin, Texas, wherever you're from, the Bay Area, Baltimore, the real Bay Area, uh, Chicago, wherever you're coming from, you can do a networking mixer for people going to South By a month or two in Chicago 
before Supplement. So it would be January. In fact, I'm doing a January event at the St. Regis in San Francisco at 125 3rd Street. And it's January 19th. And it's a networking mixer. I'll repeat that, 125 uh, 3rd Street, St. Regis, January 19th. Uh, it's got a yoga theme to it where you want to be flexible and open to practicing because that's what entrepreneurship is. It's a, it's a, it's not a perfection. It's a practice. Giselle Mari taught me that. So do a pre-event. You can do a pre-event for 11 minutes in the hometown of North Carolina or Charlotte or wherever you're at, and do a pre-networking event for all the people that are going to be coming. And then guess what you do at that one 11 minute party on Eventbrite? You support it, that's your satellite, so you support it with UTWM PPM. You write a WordPress blog post, you do a couple of videos that are 28 seconds to 40 seconds long in landscape on your iPhone 6, 6 Plus. You can even do it on an iPhone 4. If you don't have enough money for cell phone service, you can mooch Wi-Fi and do it on an iPhone 4 that you can buy on eBay for 50 bucks, five oh dollars So then you do two videos, and then you embed the videos into your WordPress blog post. And the WordPress blog post, this is critical, you want to have it attached to your URL. So my URL is duck9. So it would be duck9.com slash blog. And that's a WordPress blog post that's a WordPress theme. And what you're doing is you're, you're generating momentum towards your URL for app downloads, for sales, for a landing page, for all oh, I want to try to apply to YC and don't know if uh, I can get in. Well, I think the app deadline uh, for spring quarter will be right around March because demo day is what, late March? So if you do well at South by, and you're a bunch of CS kids, that'll really help from whatever little podunk town that you're in. So, so you're doing a pre-South by event theme in your city a month or two or three before South by Southwest. Another tip that, uh, just off the top of my head, that people could do but don't do is the concept of cold emailing and cold calling. I know that sounds scary, um, but it shouldn't be. And that is this, is that you, if you reach out, you can actually guess people's email addresses. And initially, well, this is how most people do it. They email once and then they're done. You have to email four, five, six times, yet have each email uh, stand on its own, where it's not referencing previous emails that have been unrequited. So that's a concept of cold emailing. Now, this is something scandalous, which is also funny. When you actually get a room at the Four Seasons, you can actually call other rooms. It's room to room cold calling. And if you're here, it's awesome because you can guess whatever VIP who's you know, a real VIP, they're gonna be in a baller room or a baller suite. And you can room to room cold call. You can room to room deliver them something in the real world, uh, like a package, like a prospectus, like a information packet, like a basket of fruit or flowers that signify, hey, thank you for coming at South by. We're hoping that you can come to my 11 minute party that is happening in the Waterloo room. Wherever random specific room that you, that's actually a good room, Waterloo room. Waterloo like uh, Napoleon, the Waterloo room. Another thing that is along the lines of how to do what Larry Chang does without having to hire or fly Larry Chang out would be, sure, bring a puppy. Um, there's this great area that is not right by the convention center it's actually at the Sheraton and it's the preferred floor for Starwood preferred guests if you want to try to self fund your trip you can do so using Starwood points on an American Express credit card uh, 
and the bit.ly link for that is bit.ly 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 slash mmpqq mentor mention per Quora question mmpqq 710 so you can actually use that as a home base whereas the four seasons is going to be uh, this room probably during peak time will probably be uh, 700 bucks you can get a starwood room wait listed uh, just using points bit.ly mentor mention per Quora question mmpqq 710 there's a uh, lounge access floor, I think it's floor number 11, where you can host. Uh, there's actually video that I've done from that floor before because I used that hotel as a backup hotel because this hotel is super swamped and super difficult to get into. But the Sheraton's still good, and now there's a new Weston. It's all disclosure, uh, I model for Weston. But the Sheraton is, you know, a, a, it's livable. VIPs. Well, you know what? VIPs would actually want to go there because it's better than like sleeping in Round Rock or the West End, the other West End, which is uh, way far off. There's two West Ends. Don't mix it up. There's one downtown. And there's one in BFE. Other things that you can do. Oh, huge. Foam core signs. Foam core. Foam like styrofoam. Core like abs. Foam core signs. You want to get a bunch of those with your logo on it and have pop-up events and and this is important because during South By executives will actually get drunk and fall down and literally not leave their room afterwards that happens quite a bit uh, execs get older execs uh, get dehydrated depending on the temperature and then once you sprinkle alcohol into that system five of the executives come three or four are down for the count by day number three or four or by day two so they'll actually default on party space so if you come and are prepared to do a pop-up event a flash mob flavored event with your VIP list that's from the treasure map from your war room nine infinitely important for you to be able to pick up things on the fly here's another thing that is uh, so many nuggets. You're so lucky you stayed till 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 now. There's this. Oh, this is great, actually. This is worth your time that you burnt watching me in a robe. Silicon Valley Bank has an event at Parkside, and it's wonderful. It's a great opportunity to network with the great uh, staff that's at Silicon Valley Bank eat great food from Parkside, network with investors, uh, awesome entrepreneurs. Uh, your board of advisor dream list is already there. That hashtag is SVB for Silicon Valley Bank, SXSW. And they have a great thing, which is called 72 second pitch. 72 the hashtag, this is totally worth your ROI for if you are planning to try to come just for 36 hours because you don't have any money to even get a hotel room. Just come for 36 hours. Hashtag 72, the number 72, second, S-E, second, S-E-C-O-N-D, capital P, pitch, 72 second, pitch. The best pitches are going to be distributed in and around uh, that in and around uh, Parkside and Parkside is right on 6th in Colorado it's a great location another great party that's for founders Kaufman does Kaufman Center for Venture Education Kaufman Foundation they're the people that came up with uh, who owns the ice house who owns the ice house and Kaufman does a great job with with hosting entrepreneur friendly founder friendly startup friendly events and that is at uh, Ye Old Saloon which is also on 6th I don't know if I have a hashtag for it uh, it's in my feed look at my Twitter feed as an Easter egg hunt for return on investment because I want you to get your money back 
because, well, not that you gave me any money, but if you're coming to South By, uh, you should be able to get all of your investment back before you even show up. So, 72, hashtag 72 second pitch. And then CC me because I'm the curator of these awesome videos. So, put your video at 72 seconds and then uh, CC me on Twitter and let me curate and help you uh, distribute your attempt to get distribution via 70, hashtag 72 second pitch. If you're still waiting, I'll squeeze out more. Okay, you're coming to South by, you've got money in trouble. Oh, the 36 hour routine. What you want to do, the faster you can go from I'm borrowing $5,000 to come to South by, the faster you can go to house money. And the concept of house money is where money that really isn't yours that you made, you reinvest in South by. Where you're not putting your own credit card debt at risk, hoping to get a return, hoping to get discovered. You're just trying to specifically, with the intention, to try to get your house money that you made from promoting events that promote your app, promoting events in the real world that promote your startup, promoting your event that promotes Roller Chain, the sequel to Blockchain. You're, you're taking those things and you're trying to use house money to, to get towards being uh, break even, where, where you're not stressed that you've got to perform. You're having a good time practicing entrepreneurship. You're not trying to choke hold and try to perfect entrepreneurship, which I don't think anybody ever does well. If they do, it's just luck. And that's what the engineering of that momentum does, is it's seemingly luck because execution has a momentum all of its own. So when you're playing with house money, you're, you're dealing with the fact that you successfully created a networking event two months prior to South by into uh, March 11, March 12, March 13. So all these addresses or these subroutines all point towards uh, addresses that are in the real world. And what you're doing is you're mimicking what has happened in the past where artillery used to demarcate and get measured uh, where, where artillery would prepare to mark a beach to prevent invasion. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to storm and take south by, uh, you know, in a in a land grab, in a in establishing a beachhead. So what it helps to have your artillery, your artillery in this case is somewhat social media, somewhat an air support of your person-to-person -person contact, where where you're you're preparing. You're preparing, you're now, now after this video, you now realize where the convention center is and where 98 San Joaquinto is, San Jacinto, which is the address of the Four Seasons, 98 San Joaquinto, uh, zip code 78701. You want to ship and UPS all your phone core signs and keep the tracking number. Uh, oh, this is huge. This is huge. You're welcome. Stop by interactive is what you're coming for. But what a lot of founders ignore is the fact that film overlaps the same five days of South By. So if you're trying to get distribution for your app, coincide it with a movie launch. And I know that sounds like I just doubled the amount of work. It actually cuts the amount of work because you're DJing the energy that exists with a movie trying to do a launch. So you can hand out uh, themed cupcakes I mean, that would be a Star Wars themed cupcake with the BB-8 droid, which is in the Rafe Needleman feed. His Twitter handle is R-A-F-E. But Mr. Peabody had a movie launch that was here, and then coinciding a giveaway of a stuffed dog, or a Kermit, or some kind of quid pro quo, where you're trying to cross the innovation chasm, correct? You don't want to try to, you don't want to die in the innovation chasm. You want to try to cross the chasm uh, from the right by using cupcakes, 
by using uh, a stuffed animal toy, you can bring a puppy along with you, and what you're, you're trying to do is you're trying to prime the pump of, of putting in $2 and trying to get $10 out. I hope some of these things have been helpful to you. Uh, more things are available on my Twitter feed. The biggest, most substantive thing that I did not address, which is something that could be of huge value to you besides EUTW and PPM, which I've mentioned a ton, is hashtag ENGR145. Hashtag ENGR145.